Wow. All right. Well, welcome back. They're not even having any. What? This I guy mean, is ten forty. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's okay. But oh, five. Thunder King. How does he open up with his one of Thunder King in a sixty card deck? Um, Slight. Do you really want me to tell you? Yeah. Oh, number generator. Shut <laughs> up. Hey, uh, we've had this conversation on this like. Oh, I'm about to say. I'm to say. Deep Prison banishes the monster, not itself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're back. We have Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex underscore S. Yep. And we got More than one. Yeah. Turn on it. That was low rating, but it seems like he's using this powerful anti-meta backer to lock it down. I mean, yeah. Like, look at these decks. Like, I don't know. Like, Tenerit's deck looks better <laughs> so far. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nope. All right. The I'm, I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> You're like I'm leaving. <laughs> BRB. BRB. LOL. Oh my god, it's too funny. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh god. Well, and Eric's thinking. So. Ooh, maybe he has like Lance yeah, jumping. What, oh, no. what would he have? Like, like a forbidden Lance. Yeah, Lance would be. This is an anti-meta. Oh, it's Shadals. Okay. okay. So Shadals versus. Sixty dollars Shadals. If that means it's running like the Burning Abyss and all that. That's the only deck I can think of Shadal as they run 60 cards as a like combination Burning Abyss, Shadal kind of deck. Well, maybe it's like a combination of like Mermails because to get the fusion out. I'm being serious. That could be a thing. I don't think they would do that. Because people, well, they always talk about how Mermails can run as many deck cards as they want because they're so consistent, right? They only need like any two cards to make a combo. Do you have anything to say about that? Let's see what he pitches. Do you have anything to say about that? What? The card. Fool's per oh my god, it's another one. <laughs> well, okay, but maybe he's- oh. Um, is that no. an Aeon Summon? No, sir, no, it is not. It's no, that's- that, yeah. no, that's- Which that's, is the great part, it activates. Uh, no, that's not yeah. an Inherent Summon. Dude, this is why we shouldn't have taken this duel. Oh my god, dude, there's gonna be an Advin call. <laughs> there better not be an Advin call, it's not, it's not an Inherent Summon, that's a, that's a trigger summon. <laughs> It's, there's gonna be an admin call because he's not smart. Damn. <laughs> I mean, I get Blackhorn is powerful, but no. All right, All good. Right. Hey, maybe okay. We're good. We're cool. We're cool. I still think Blackhorn shouldn't be at three. <laughs> not the same as X said. <laughs> I've never. I've never. X is like X said. <laughs> I've, I've heard people say like X seed, but never. X you got anything to say about that? Shut up, man. <laughs> Are they you, maybe he's just, the oh, the Lance! We were talking about that earlier. Yes, yeah, so I, I was thinking he's gonna use the Lance, that but then... That is why he was thinking, I, I probably would've used it on the right. There's really no point, because then his uh, his falls down would've been so weak, he could just summon anything and run it over. You know? Yeah, should always do have a lot of high attack monsters. But then again, he's playing a 60 card deck. But then again, he has all the freaking one-ups, so you know. <laughs> Thunder, what is it, Thunder King, Bottomless, Rageki, and Foolish? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, maybe he's just playing 20 one-ups in his deck or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like half or a third of the deck. Yeah, Blackhorn is still a very powerful card. It, it goes up and down in popularity. Like uh, I don't like I don't like Blackhorn now. I don't. It's not good right now. Yeah, I don't think it's good at all. You know, when you're doing the top decks are like Shadows and Necros and no. But if the top decks are like Teller Knights and Cleese and oh yeah, the card's fucking busted as fuck. <laughs> so yeah, Teller Knights. Yeah, well, because do they don't do they or do they not float on on Blackhorn? Who? Any of them. The, the... X seeds. The ones that you could Blackhorn. <laughs> no, the Teller Knights, they have to be on the field. Alright, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, they okay. have to touch the field. And Klee's. That's what I thought. Like, that's what I Klee's thought. ruling TCGs that you can Blackhorn and hit all of the, the special summon monsters. Nice. So. So is, is he Lancing to attack over it? Yeah, I guess he's gonna go ahead and Lance and respond. The, the beast, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, I guess. I don't know. He's still, I guess he wants to get his use out of that that token or whatever the counter. Mm-hmm. The counter. That's what I meant. The uh, spell counter. <laughs> the token. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go ahead and use it. Here we go. Ah. Oh. oh my God! He hit a it's powerful. Yep, he hit a chainable. The powerful is right, uh -huh. And you know what? Alex S knew he was gonna pick the middle one, so he set that there on purpose. Yep. Just right in the middle. Damn, he's gonna put all his one ups back. <laughs> I wonder how many jars he runs. I wonder how many, how many would you run in like a 60 card deck? Like, 
You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, you just got Did all you quiet. say something? Did I miss something? Maybe you just got all quiet. Nah, I'm, I don't know. I, I... <laughs> Is anything happening? No? <laughs> no. No, oh, yeah. not really. This man just. He hit, he, I mean, he hit the jar. Well, it's not like you saw what he drew. He hit the jar of Avarice and. That was yep. stupid. There it is. El Shadal Fusion. El Shadal Fusion. Golden Construct. The one that should be banned. That oh is my not god, Black no! Horror. It no. does not work! No, 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 no! 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 no. <laughs> you can't Black Horn that! No! Are you gonna explain it to me? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Alex is rated 1000. He has a 1000 experience. Like, come on. It's not even just a rating, his experience is high too. Holy shit. Only inherents. He's, he's, they're just gonna keep going. Oh, he said, forget it, I know. Okay. I guess. Yeah, you can't fucking blackhorn that. Like I said, with necros and shadows running around, it's just. Bro. He's just gonna let it go. Yep. Oh, oh, okay, I see what's happening. Alex just wanted to have him, like, he use did. it up on a big deal anymore. Like, I see what, like, Alex is just letting it go. Yeah, Alex is letting it go. I mean, he couldn't even activate the card in activation, so technically he can't even let it go, but it's fine, yeah. I guess. He's, yeah, he's letting the duel be corrupt, but he doesn't care. Alright, so, I guess so far the... we've, we've just seen Shadals. We have not seen any other deck. Yeah, it just seems like just Shadals so far. Yeah, like, three of every... Shit all except for Hound, because people don't like Hound for some reason. <laughs> I don't like Hound. You know what Hound is? Yeah, I didn't like it when I played Shit all, but I don't like Shit all. So it was the it was like it was dumb because it was hollow, and all the other all the rest of the ones that are better were common and rare. <laughs> Hound came out as a super in the um in the deluxe edition, so I don't know. Oh, um, gonna go ahead and play that Phoenix Chain. Phoenix Chain was good during Shit all when Shit were the best deck. Seems like the only deck that still plays Phoenix Chain like that diligently is Teller Knights. Just because of Triv. Well, I think I think Phoenix Chain's good against Necros too. Mm hmm. Because, um, Battle Phase is important. Yep. So it still gets flipped, but now it's gonna get banished. Finish of the Radiance. Yeah, it's a good card. Completely in. I've always wondered, okay, so I know that it has a counterpart or whatever, Banisher of the Light. But I always liked that one better, to be honest. I always thought Banisher of the Light was a, a better card because they could just attack into it. So it's like a surprise. I don't know. But what I guess the 21 it. booty. Yeah, what is it? It's 2000, right? Or 19. I think it's 21, I want to say. 21 booty? It's either I, It's between 19 and 21. I can't remember. It's, uh, well, I don't know. I'll look it up. <laughs> um, draw two cards Banister and discard one. Okay. Say any card, it's like macro. Yeah, any card since the graveyard is banished is dead. So it's just it like has macro. A. It has a 2000 beat. 100 attack, 2000 defense. Okay. That's what I thought the Tony one is from. I just combine the attack and defense. You could do that, right? Just combine your attack and defense? <laughs> <laughs> it got reprinted in Yugi's World, and it it was a super in Magic Ruler. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Buy those hollow banisher of the lights now, because Slate Warrior said so. Oh, there's the what? What? That's crazy. What? Yeah, you, get, you, get, uh, you get out the bottomless again? What? Heck. Oh, and he has another jar, and he's gonna shuffle the bottomless back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. Yeah, you know so what? Far. Is Darvavers like being used that much? It's pretty popular right now. It's, it's probably one of the more popular cards in Cross Souls. Well, it's crazy. This guy's playing a 60 card deck. Like, it doesn't even make sense to play Darth Avers in this. I guess he really wants to put his shit back. Yes. Darth Avers is a good card. And 60 card deck. I good. swear to fucking God, if you fuse into Windigo, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> 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 oh, so it's plants. Okay, so it's Damn, plants. Damn, this was a match. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He said, yeah, he's, he's fuck this shit. He's like, nah, I'm not even gonna mid defeat. I'm just gonna quit. Nigga. He saw the globe balls, man. He's broken. Is it <sighs> still at can... one? It is. It is, it is still at one. It it's still is at one. Wow. Crazy. Alright, well, now we gotta get another dueling. Alright. 
All right, we are back. You're back. All right, we are back. So we have SE nineteen ninety two. Oh no, nope. we got UA. UA. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ten forty eight. Which is, I'm just gonna call you Young. With Young Seminole Seven. Yeah. Seminole is a Native American tribe, I think. Oh. Is there anything slow? Nice. Normally 106, huh? but looks like he's gonna work his way up. He has the profile pick, he has the sleeves, so it just seems like his rating maybe got reset in the last list and he just hasn't really been playing. Or maybe he uh he's a contributor. And he just put whatever sleeves he wanted. No, because you'd have you'd have like a yellow background. Like you'd have oh, a yellow yeah. around your red. Um so yeah, I, I don't know. You you know Florida State University, right? No. Oh. I go to community you college. Forgot you don't watch sports. <laughs> I don't watch sports. You're insane. The NBA finals are going on. You're not watching that at all. Uh, no. Like... Okay. Well, uh, uh... I, I sports. I play UAs. I, I sports. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's funny. Cause yeah, cause the Seminole is the nickname of the the uh, Florida State University. The, the Seminoles. <sighs> all right. Gonna go ahead and summon that perfect ass. Oh yeah, we played UAs last daily duels, didn't we? We put against them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> oh shit, lol. <laughs> what? What did you say oh shit about? Didn't realize you're going first. What? Head <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> ass. Oh my god, this is stupid. Huh, god damn it. Let me get another <laughs> one. Right. I was just, I was like, oh, maybe he, he just has a rating job. Maybe he's really good duelist. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> and his opponent just sat there <laughs> just watching him. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that was funny. Bear back. I don't know. I forget. I mean, I feel bad because I feel like I should know how to fix this, but I don't. No, you're getting louder now. Anyway, we have Killick here. 538 versus computer bug at 1181. So, Rota, let's see. Is it Tony? Yeah, the Killet guy also, oh, that's what I said last time, and it was UAs. Um, the Killet guy also has 3,216 experience, so it's it's, uh, it's heroes. <laughs> yep, that's heroes. Yep, it's definitely heroes. So, it's I'm not, not sure what the hell Killet is running with no extra deck. I feel like it's something sacky. Oh, but... my, maybe it's Infernity. Computer bug, maybe it's Infernity. I'm serious. That that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm just I'm, I'm 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 lost without Killick. I don't know about Killick. I'm saying computer bug. Maybe it's, the photon factor makes me think it burns. I don't know. Killick. You, you, oh no, X Killick. Yeah. Killick. Killick. What the hell are you doing, Kill man? <laughs> <laughs> like no, I listen. There is a lot of stupidity in this. Like you think he's gonna send him to the graveyard and be like. <laughs> Maybe he's playing like Pendulum. Pendulum? I, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I really want to see what you can possibly do with fucking Yang Sing's that Josh deck. Oh wait, nothing. Well, maybe actually, maybe it's an Obelisk deck. What is that? Yeah, exactly. It's it's okay. So it's Monarchs. Okay, so that's what I was saying. Maybe he's gonna use them for tribute fighters. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Because now he has no extra decks, so we can use all the special, the special uh, spells and traps. No. Okay. I, I like. Look, I, like it I mean, look at that experience. There's no way. Yeah, exactly. He, he, wasn't doing, he, he wasn't stupid. He he's just got a really cool idea. I like this. So Yang Zing and what's now they're, they're free from being able to be targeted and destroyed by card effects. The power of monarchs. Wonder if he has that powerful ass filled spell. <laughs> Was it you that told me? Look how yep, much bigger Grand Marg is than the rest of the monarchs. Like, isn't that crazy? Mm-mm. -mm. Oh, well, look how much bigger Grand Marg is than the rest of the Monarchs. Yeah. <laughs> wow, all right. You well, got Caius in the front, you got Ryza, you got Mobius, and then just Grand Marg is just holy huge. Holy shit, unless fucking <laughs> Computer Bug has MST or something, I think this might be game. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. The power of that fucking field spell is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, and on the field spell, too. Look how big Grand Marg is. I was talking about the, the continuous spell, but yeah, Grand Marg is just really big on both of those. Plus 800. Is it when he attacks a monster? Should want you control attack the punch monster? Yeah, it keeps 800 attack. Holy shit. Good luck. I have no idea what you're gonna do. Ooh. 
That's so wait, a... so could you use the field spell to reduce Zaborg's level by one and just normal summon him? What does it say reduce his level? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh. Never mind. It's, it's 2800. Alright, special thrasher. Yeah, he's, he's summon a Stop like that. Summon a I'm monster and sit there and do absolutely nothing. Set a monster, shoot. Neither heroes nor infinity would enjoy setting a monster. You can't really it's do anything. Fine. Huh? Cause of that fucking field spell. I can't hear you. That field spell is just too good right now. I didn't even read it. Let me read it again. I just read the bottom part. The uh reducing the level thing. Your opponent cannot special summon monster from the extra deck? So it's basically like a vanities. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> you can't anything from the extra deck. Attacks an opponent's monster. It gains 800 attack during damage calculation. Alright. That's really good. What's the point of the re level reduction? Like, how does that help? I guess Oh, it's by the... two! Yeah. You reduce the level by two. Yeah, and make the Mega Monarchs a little bit easier, so you can I guess. make a level 8, level 6. And... So it's only for one trigger, yeah, I guess? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was just by one. Alright, he gets a draw. <laughs> Drawn to what, though? <laughs> I hope he draws into the MST. Please, because... You need some sort of tech. Yeah, or an MST, yeah. <laughs> if you can't do anything, you're just going to be sitting here screwed. Watch kill like, like top deck field barrier. <laughs> Field barrier or card guard. <laughs> card guard is such a dumb card because it has a, it has a name that rhymes. It's so stupid. Card guard. You know what rhyming is stupid? Yeah, for like, well, I don't know. Like, this is what I thought. Okay, so you know, like a lot of Pokemon have really dumb names that they're just combinations of like the real world animal names and like like stuff that has to do with the the type of Pokemon it is like. Like, I can't, I gotta think of one. Hold on. Um. Charmander? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, like, Char, Char, like, Char, Char, and then it's like a Mander. Like a Salamander. It's stupid. Charmeleon, Charizard. <laughs> exactly. Chameleon, and I don't know what Zard is. Oh, Lizard! <laughs> so, so, um. So, yeah, it's stupid. It's, it's, it's a dumb, like. And, like, so many Pokemon have that. Old and new. Have, like, this stupid combination of. Animal and like thing that has to do with their type. So I don't know. Yeah, I think I think Killick has this locked down. Yeah, I said the first spell is the power. And we were and we were questioning him. Yeah, we were <laughs> questioning him. I wonder is is this TCG or is it both? What the field spell? Field spell. The field spell is OCG. OCG. Okay, so I want to see if he's playing any uh, fossils. Is that right? it, computer bug? Is that it? You can't touch the lecture deck and it just the snuggles. Well, so it's, you think it's heroes or? I think it's heroes. Wait, Actually, it, I think it, it, I think it's some kind utopia. of utopia deck. Yeah, because crane, so it's probably utopia. Caius, my bro, my boy. <laughs> Let's see what he banished. Let's see if it's that dark monster. <laughs> Nah. No, oh, yep, is, definitely it, Utopia. Definitely Utopia. He's got too high of a rating to be using Utopia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, has Utopia gotten any new tools recently? Hmm. Or is, I guess there was the rank six guy. Has there been anything since then? Oh, there's the F Zero guy, right? The newest Utopia is that new Hope guy. Yeah, F Zero. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is his name Utopia or is his name Hope? I think it's like Hope something. I don't remember. I did a card review on it, but I can't remember his name. Well, the the because Utopia in J in Japan is just Hope. Yeah, so, I, I can't remember his name. I don't I don't know if they actually called him Hope or if it's just the same thing. I'm <laughs> don't you wish you had that MST computer bug? Torrential. Is that it? This duel's over. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, and Torrential wouldn't have even mattered because March is uh, face up. Another V Salamander. Why is he playing two? I I I'd only play one. Uh, isn't it only for Rave too? Yeah, I only play one. Hmm. Computer bug, you're holding on, man. 
Hold on. I guess, he, I guess he just has a lot of monsters because he's playing a Utopia rank 4 base deck, but I don't know. I wish they'd made, like, actual Utopia monsters, you know what I'm saying? Like, main deck ones, they don't have to be called Utopia, but at least, like, make it obvious that they're being made for the Utopia deck. Like, okay, I, I, never mind that, because that was kind of confusing. I know that the V Salamanders and the Zexal Ovens are for Utopia, but I'm saying, like, to get Utopia out, right? So it didn't have to just be Goblinburg and stuff? I don't know. That's, that's what I've always thought. Damn. Yeah, that, that's what was over. Yeah, he got locked the fuck down. See, that's one of the reasons why Monarchs are one of my most hated decks. Well, what, like new Monarchs? Because Monarchs weren't, well, I guess even old Monarchs were kind of annoying, weren't yeah, they? they? Stop could, attributing well, my fucking, Monarch, fuck that Monarch's not fast. Fuck your, fuck your Kai, your Rise oh, fuck your Kai. right? They, they could use Oppression really well, couldn't they? Or yes, band. like just fuck yeah, all okay. of it. I don't like Monarchs. I like one of my top five most hated decks in Yu-Gi-Oh. Especially with that fill spells. Like, oh, come on. Like, come on. You, it's supposed to be your old style tributing versus my new style accessing the extra deck. And we're supposed to butt heads. You're like, oh, no, you can't summon the extra deck. Like, nigga, how the fuck am I supposed to beat you? And that's the thing, though, because when they don't get that card, then they're probably just shitty. You know, you got the fucking... The Mods and the Monarchs, the Monarch Storm first, you got, Actually, you got some yeah, fucking busted they the ass card, shit. They have a Searcher for the field spell besides Terraforming. They have that, that other dude, right? <laughs> they have some busted ass shit. Wait, no, wait. Don't they have a card that, like, lets them search a Monarch spell if they can if they reveal a, a Monarch in their hand or something like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Tenacity. Tenacity of the Monarchs. <laughs> Is that what that does? I, is that the one that searches for the Monarch? Or maybe it got its name changed. No, Tenacity of the Monarchs, yeah. Tenacity of the Monarchs, yeah, I'll read it, I'll read it to you when it loads here. It says, uh... It says, S Reveal one monster in hand with 2400 attack, 1000 defense, or blah. Add one Monarch spell trap card from your deck to your hand, except Tenacity of the Monarchs. You can only activate one Tenacity of the Monarchs. It's a normal spell. Yeah, he activated at the beginning of the duel, searched for a field spell, didn't he? Oh no, he searched for Monster of the Monarch. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even know. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Alright. All I'm saying is that's a good card. It's a rare, I think. That's it. I, think it's uh, rare. I don't like Monarchs. Is it a rare or is it an Ultra? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it. So, thank yeah. you, Slate, for joining me. You're welcome. I was kind of loud in this this uh, episode. <laughs> I was, like, yelling at you. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And see you guys next weekend with some more damn commentary. All right, people. Thanks for watching.